Well, welcome to Modeling Time with me, Brian Banna, and another episode in the Phase 1 F3 build. Well, the trucks are all done. I've got them all back together assembled, and they're lubed and all that, and they're all weathered. So, without wasting your time, let's just get right to it. I'll show you what they look like. Now, I don't know how these are, or the, how the color is going to show up on the video, so I also have some still shots that I'll put in at the end. Go. All right. So let me get you a uh, view of these trucks. I hope that the uh, color turns out well. Um, I tried different um, things to get the, the shades and the tones to come out well, but I, I really couldn't. But I found this piece of cardboard, and I think it'll show up, show up better. So let me see if I can. Yeah, and it's hard, and it doesn't stay in focus. There we go. That's better. So that's the truck. That's one of the trucks. Keep this in focus. Let me get the other side. Okay, so that is a that is a rear truck. This is the front truck. I don't see the color as well as I do with the naked eye here in the viewfinder. There we go. That gets a little bit more color into it. Okay, so that's one set of trucks. These, I believe, are the B unit trucks. That's one. There's the other B unit truck. Oh no, this is an A unit truck set again. Sorry about that. It's another A unit set. The closer I can get to the view or the camera, the better the colors show up. I can get these stayed in or stay in focus. Okay, so those two sets were A units. These are the B unit trucks. There, I can get that folk. There we go. Now how I did these was with all with pigments. And the lighter colors like the whitish and grayish colors, those are pan pastels. I also did use some um, brown brown earth tone colored pastels, pan pastels, and this is the last truck. The pigments were set with pigment setting solution, but the pan pastels are not because when you hit them with a pigment setting solution, it flattens them out and it doesn't give that nice texture look to them. That dusty texture look to them. 
the gear towers were all um, pigments with uh, pigment setting solution shot over them. So that takes care of getting the trucks all weathered. So these are all done now. All right, well, this is take number two on this, um, showing the trucks and doing this closing. The first take just went horrible. The, the, the trucks looked terrible. The light, I couldn't get the light. I couldn't get them in focus and all that. But using this uh, backing board or this cardboard backing helped keep the camera in focus. So anyway, so the trucks are all done. The process was very, very simple. The gears were out, so the gear towers had nothing inside of them, but they were screwed together, and they had the bottom clip in them. So um, I coated them with pigments. I kind of took a brush and just wiped all the, the, um, the heavier buildup of the pigments off, so that it was just a nice, smooth um, coating of it, and then I hit it with pigment setting solution. I did that three times and called it done. So that took all of about maybe less than 10 minutes, definitely less than 10 minutes for a set of, of um, gear towers. Um, so I did all the gear towers first. Then I went back and I did each individual side frame. Now the side frames I would coat with pigments. I'd take a brush and brush them off. And depending on how heavy I wanted to show up on the side frames, I might take a, a kneaded eraser and just kind of wipe the flat surface areas off and dab at the details. And then I'll take a soft brush and blend out the sharp lines where the pigment pulled off and where the pigment stayed on. There would be a sharp line there. So I'd take a soft um, uh, paintbrush and I would just soften that edge. And then I might go back and add more pigments depending on how much I wanted to build up. Now I. I do want these trucks to look like they're 30 years old running in hot, dusty environment because they'll be these rep, these will be on, uh, of course, my Copper State Railway stuff, uh, F3s, which ran solely in the desert. So I wanted them really heavily loaded down with dust and, and to give that old, basically 30 year old look. Now, I did question myself if they if trucks would look like that so I did a bunch of research looking at various locomotives F units in the 70s and even like the, the best examples of having them coated heavily like that were the GMNO F units they were you could not see any of the black on the trucks I did find some Missouri Pacific GP 38-2s that had no color other than earth tones on the sides of the trucks. So there was um, examples of locomotives that have been in the field for a while, especially those uh, GMNO F3s that had solid earth tones on the trucks. And it wasn't just one. There was a, uh, I found at least five or six different units that were like that. So it gave um, credence to you know, being able to weather the trucks like that. I'm really, really happy with the way that these turned out. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you like seeing um, some heavily um, weathered trucks. Uh, I won't be doing this to all of my, my truck sets, but on these F3s, I really want these units to look like they've been working for 30 plus years. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope...